Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to them, or do you want to stay with Donald Trump? Trump. What's up, guys? Boy Benny. You can call me a hopeless romantic, but I'm going to talk to you about a love story right now. Elon Musk and Donald Trump. A love story for our time. Let's begin with an interview from when Donald Trump was first elected president, right after Trump was elected president. Elon Musk goes on 60 Minutes, back when the left loved Elon Musk and the media loved Elon Musk and would do anything for him. And Elon Musk could have anything they want, that he wanted because he made the first electric car and he was gonna save the environment. And he was asked about Twitter because Elon Musk has been an avid Twitter user for a long time, and this response. There's a war zone. If somebody's gonna jump in the war zone, it's like, okay, you're in the arena. Let's go. Okay. Who does that sound like? I don't know. Who does it sound like? It sounds like a guy who lives at the White House. Oh, that guy. Yeah, sure. He's very good at Twitter. <laughs> I know. I, I think the uh, president is amazingly good at Twitter. The president is amazingly good at Twitter. This interview from seven years ago is, of course, a clairvoyant now Elon Musk stating exactly what he thought of President Trump, and a month later, President Trump stated what he thought of Elon. Comments on Elon Musk. Well, you have to give him credit. I spoke to him very recently, and he's also doing the rockets. He likes rockets, and uh, he does good at rockets, too, by the way. I never saw where the engines come down with no wings, no anything, and they're landing. I said, I've never seen that before. And I was worried about him because he's one of our great geniuses, and we have to protect our genius. You know, we have to protect Thomas Edison, and we have to protect all of these people that... Uh, came up with originally the light bulb and uh, the wheel and all of these things. And he's one of our very smart people. And we Donald Trump, who calls himself a very stable genius, calling Elon Musk a great genius in the vein of Thomas Edison, arguably, actually inarguably, the greatest American inventor. And so the two men have appreciated themselves, appreciated each other for a very long time. I'm sure they appreciate themselves as well. And now Elon Musk owns Twitter, of all things, right? And Donald Trump is running for president again. And this morning, Elon Musk posted something that broke the internet. He, post he posted his Trump endorsement. Now, how did he do it? Elon Musk is a very, very uh, sneaky ex-user. Elon Musk, of course, the owner of X. Elon Musk, to his 176 million followers, posted a clip of his friend Joe Rogan. And what is Joe Rogan saying? Have a listen. I would vote for Trump before I'd vote for Biden, just because I think with Biden, like, there, he's no, he's, he's gone. Like, you know he's gone. It's, you're going to be relying on his cabinet, and I knew his cabinet would be this f***ing sideshow of diversity, and which is exactly what it is. You can't have those kind of people running a Ben and Jerry's. You, <laughs> you certainly can't have those kind of people running the f***ing most powerful government the world's ever known. It's nuts. That's the endorsement, ladies and gentlemen. That's the endorsement. It is a tacit endorsement, but it is an endorsement nonetheless. Elon Musk endorsed Donald Trump. Now, we've just found out that Elon Musk met with Donald Trump, that their planes landed on tarmac and they like had a meeting together. That was breaking news recently. It's very, very interesting. Elon Musk said, hey, you know, I'm not gonna be a big donor to the Trump campaign, but I really liked meeting with the guy. That's a lot better than what Joe Biden's done. Joe Biden's effectively banned Elon Musk from the White House. Joe Biden is a vicious old bastard who, I guess, hates the environment, right? Okay. So Elon Musk is now meeting with Trump, talking about donations, although saying he's not going to donate one way or the other, but like dipping his toes in. He's on, he's like on the, on the path here. And as the left further and further embraces insanity and totalitarianism, and fascism, fascistic tactics. Uh, they're going after Musk the same way they're going after Donald Trump, actually. Well, it's time to unite and win. And this seems to be effectively the official endorsement of Donald Trump from Elon Musk in a very Elon Musk way, right? Just posting the clip. And I think a lot of people think like that. Like Joe Biden's just bat crazy and the things he represents is just insane. It's anti-human, quite frankly. Ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk has been posting quite a bit uh, about What's been going on inside of the Biden regime? This is something that has been happening, sort of like a, a work in progress with Elon Musk, who was very much a centrist, but has been dragged 
uh, potentially kicking and screaming, I'm not sure, but dragged over to the sane side of the argument, which is what the right represents now. Sanity, law and order, a country that actually operates and functions. Illegals beat up American police officer in Times Square, got out of jail for free, and instead of being deported, were given free tickets to California. Why? Here's Joe Biden. Here's a meme he shared. Joe Biden giving uh, the illegal criminal alien a medal. Yeah, we all know why. The administration is both importing voters and creating a national security threat with unvetted illegal immigrants. It is highly probable that the groundwork is being laid for something far worse than 9-11. Biden administration is flying 300,000 migrants secretly into the United States to reduce the number of crossings at the border. Yeah. Elon Musk has been uh, on his path to being based for quite a while. This clip from October 2023, Elon Musk saying it's a zombie apocalypse talking about downtown San Francisco and how the woke mind virus has destroyed world and culture as we know it. Donald Trump recently spoke about his interactions with Elon Musk in their meeting. Uh, we thought this clip was uh, quite interesting how Donald Trump talks about Elon. Clearly the two haven't lost any respect for each other. Check this out. So it was a very important thing to her and I agree with it. Uh, Mr. President, we I think you also, uh, you also had a meeting with, with Elon Musk recently. And I, did. And I, I, and I saw a, uh, a piece written that Silicon Valley uncharacteristically, um, I'm not saying it's you know 100% behind uh, your candidacy, but certainly um, there, there seems to be a sea change to some extent uh, this time around, what what did you, what did Elon Musk tell you? You, you think you'll eventually get his support in some way, whether it's uh, just verbal or, or monetary? I don't know. Look, I've been friendly with him over the years. I've helped him when I was president. I helped him. Uh, I've I've liked him. Uh, we obviously have opposing views on a minor subject called electric cars. Uh, I'm all for electric cars, but you have to have all of the alternatives also. You can't just go to electric. I mean, you have a grid system in this country that's obsolete and a disaster. It's one of the things we worked on a lot is our grid system. It can't produce the electricity. It doesn't it can't distribute the electricity. And, you know, the electric cars are not not even a possibility to go all electric. This Biden uh, all electric mandate is by very, very stupid people. First of all, they don't go far. They cost too much, and they're all going to be made in China. And the auto workers are going to vote for Trump. I don't know about their top union people because they're just riveted into Democrats. They have no idea why. They're like blind sheep. But the auto workers are going to vote for Trump because they understand. Look at my numbers in Michigan. I'm leading him by 12 or 14 points. It's always hard for a Republican, but not now. We're leading in a lot of places that Republicans don't lead, and including with African Americans, we are we have numbers with the African American population, the Black population, the Asian population, uh, Hispanics. We have numbers like like nobody's ever seen before. So I think we're going to have a very good election, and I think that's probably why Silicon Valley is. But but I think they're also with me because you know I want I want to help businesses. I want to get. They saw what happened. We had, and you know that, just prior to this uh, horrible scourge coming in, a, a gift of China, they, we had the greatest economy in the history of the world. There was never an economy. Blacks were doing the best they've ever done. Hispanics, women, Asian men uh, with a diploma from MIT, without a diploma at all from a high school. Every single group, every single group was doing great. And that's the way it is. And we had the greatest economy ever. And we were getting ready to pay off debt. We were drilling. We were doing things. Think of it. I got Anwar approved. It's bigger, perhaps close, but probably bigger than Saudi Arabia in Alaska. And one of the first things Biden did is end it. Reagan tried to get it. He couldn't get it done. Nobody got it done but me. And nobody else could have gotten it done. Anwar is the biggest, probably the biggest site Jay, if you look, uh, it's, uh, remember we celebrated that one. Nobody could believe I got it done. And they were getting ready to start drilling, and they were doing it. It's going to be great for Alaska, a yeah. tremendous yeah. economic development for Alaska. But I got it done, and they ended it. We were going to pay off debt. We were going to do things that were incredible. And then uh, 
We had an election that I would be very yeah, nice to you show. Let me ask you about that. Didn't go uh, too well. Didn't yeah, go too you. well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, also Elon Musk was recently asked about Donald Trump in the Lex Friedman podcast. Again, the two men have not lost any appreciation for each other. Check this out. Uh, do you think he'll come back to X and and start posting there? I mean, he, 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 I think he owns a big part of truth. Mm -hmm. So truth social. To yeah, clarify. truth social. He's sorry. That truth yeah, is a concept. <laughs> he owns truth. Hope you bought it. <laughs> um, so I think I think uh, Donald Trump. I think he owns uh, a, big, a big part of Truth Social. So, um, you know, if 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 he does want to post on the X platform, we would allow that. Um, you know, we we obviously must allow a presidential candidate to post on our platform. Community notes might be really fascinating. There, the interaction. Community notes is uh, awesome. Let's let's hope it holds up. Well, of course, Elon Musk did bring Donald Trump back to X on November eighteenth of twenty twenty two. Elon Musk posted this poll. I didn't realize it was actually this close. <laughs> 48 to 51. Reinstate former President Trump. The people have spoken. Trump will be reinstated. Oh, baby. <laughs> look, at the, look at the engagement on this one, man. 15 million votes. Wow. It's like the number of criminal illegal alien votes that the Democrats are going to get this time around. Uh, Elon Musk has reinstated Donald Trump, obviously, on X. Uh, Elon Musk has then um, begun posting pretty based things. How did De Niro survive Trump's first term? It must be a miracle to Robert De Niro and moaning and crying. If he lends the election, you won't be on the show anymore. Oh. Uh, Elon Musk agreeing with Donald Trump's uh, various statements on like banning TikTok. Uh, it's time for real Donald Trump to return to X. Elon Musk saying yes. Uh, Don, uh, uh, th this is very interesting. Donald Trump going after Mark Cuban. Uh, Donald Trump is a legend. Elon Musk responding. A smile emoji and fire. Clearly loves, he clearly loves Donald Trump. Elon Musk clearly loves Donald Trump. This is Donald Trump returning to X, posting his mugshot. Approximately 10 million views per hour on this image. Uh, 286 million views on this image. One of the most viewed images ever posted on social media. Four, nearly 500,000 retweets and 300,000 comments, one of them being Elon Musk celebrating it. So yeah, Trump's interview with Tucker on X is breaking the internet. Just wait until real Donald Trump returns to X himself. Uh, ALX, the executive producer of our show, uh, tweeting this. Whether one agrees with him or not, he has written some of the funniest posts ever on this platform. That is a fact, a matter of fact. And Elon Musk has been an appreciator for a long time. Uh, woke Jeopardy ideas, difficult questions that require context for $400. It can be cleanse the earth in a nuclear fire or vote Republican. <laughs> Elon Musk is a very, very funny, uh, funny person, but also a very serious person. Do they prosecute anyone besides Trump in New York? Elon Musk defending Donald Trump and the prosecutions against him. And Elon Musk uh, responding again to producer ALX. Trump sk skips debates, wins on social media. People are clearly interested in hearing from Trump. Uh, one may not agree with the man, but he is never boring. Elon Musk, the appreciator. Elon Musk is saying that he won't donate to Trump or Biden after meeting with Republican Mar-a-Lago. Spe sparked speculation that he would use his $200 billion in the 2024 race. We still hope that happens. Elon Musk has, um, you know, changed his mind on things before. Elon Musk changed his mind on Don Lemon's show just recently. <laughs> In fact, Don Lemon, who sat down with Elon Musk for an interview, Elon Musk didn't like the interview and then canceled Don Lemon's show. That's pretty amazing. Come on. It's too good. This just happened hours ago. Don Lemon pinned post on his Instagram announcing the Don Lemon show. Don Lemon show has been canceled. <laughs> Again. Feel sorry for the feel sorry for the multimillionaire who's had a platform at CNN for the better part of 20 years. Feel sorry for the guy. Yeah, I don't at all. Ladies and gentlemen, in a recent interview, we asked Vivek Ramaswamy about the relationship between Elon Musk and Donald Trump. He knows both very well. Uh, and it went like this. We thought this was uh, quite illuminating. This is after we found out that Elon Musk was meeting with Donald Trump. Is there more of a endorsement coming along? Is there like a more official endorsement from Elon Musk coming along. We'll see. He's one of those followed men in the world. He's one of those powerful men in the world. Let's go. Are you red pilling Elon Musk? 
You know, we're having good conversations, is what I would say. We have, we have good exchanges. And he's, and like I said, compared to the problems he's solving, the only, he's the one person who pushed me. Most people say I want to cut 75% of the federal government and they say you're crazy. Elon also says you're crazy. He says that's not enough, right? And so I think that that's the direction that people like me need to be pushed. And so I'm grateful for him on that. And, and you know what? I think that I'm much more interested. I'm less interested even in the current Elon Musk, much as I love him. I want to find the next Elon Musk or the next five or the next 10 in this country and create the space for them to spread their wings. That's how we get this country back.